Hello my beautiful wildflowers, Alexis here with Oak Modesty. Today we are actually visiting a Half Moon Bay Harbor and I know it, it's about something about a harbor, right? So I wasn't going to record today, I was just going to go ahead and enjoy our day but I thought, you know, why not? Let's, you know, let's give you guys a show. So let me turn you around so at least you can see what I'm seeing, okay? So. There you go. It's really a very, very gray day, which is okay though. It's really pretty. And so this is Half Moon Bay, California. And this is between San Francisco and Santa Cruz. And uh, I think this is an area that I have not yet shown you. And this is a place where you could actually go and rent um, kayaks and, and do, you know, fun things in the water. So I thought I'd go ahead and share this with you. And here we go. It's actually a very, very pretty location. And I did go ahead and take some pictures. I'm going to see if I can insert them for you. And I took a picture of myself My while well, my husband was um, on the other side. And so I'll go ahead and, and maybe just will be actually a short video instead of the customary one hour uh, vlog. So yeah, just take a look and I will be back to you in a moment. Okay, my beautiful wildflowers, here I am again. I just want to show you a shot of this. This is the, um, actually, this is Half Moon Bay, but it's called Pillar Point, and you can see the um, patrol there, the police um, department patrol boat, and you see the rescue jet skis there, pretty cool. And then um, I'm going to bring it in a little closer so you guys can see it. And there is the harbor patrol boat right there. And also, if you notice, there's a boat over there. They actually, fishermen come here and they sell fresh fish to anybody who wants to buy them. And there's a man there um, just, you know, working on uh, getting his fish. There's an overhead uh, plane there. And there's some boats over there. That boat over there is selling rockfish and um, yeah, different um, type of um, fishing boats. Actually, there's a sign here that actually talk about what the um, what the different uh, boats sell and it gives you the name of the boat and then what they're selling for the day and also you notice a sheriff's department boat right there on the other side it's a sheriff, a sheriff right next to the rockfish sign and let me show you what I mean by the um, let me walk over here so you can see and I mean while and so actually the sign that tells you what boat is selling what is like right here so here we go okay and there we go oh too far but right here it tells you the boat name the fish product and where the dock is so if you're interested in buying any of these fish you can go ahead and find a boat the boat name the fish product that you're looking for and which dock it's in for example there is Stacy Joanne selling black cod and they're in dock E1 and so it's pretty interesting how that works right so, okay, let me just go ahead and put you guys on pause and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I just want to show you this. Look at the longest line here is for sea urchin, live sea urchin. And all everybody's in line for that. And I love sea urchin. And they're quite expensive, but there's, they have a whole bag of live ones there. So, very interesting. And um, as well as this boat here is selling wild king salmon. And so this is a place where people come and just buy different um, types of fish that just came out of the water. So this is really, really, this is where you got really fresh fish, okay? And there we go. And again, I mean, look at the number of people, I mean, that are just waiting for the sea urchins. Very interesting. Okay, my beautiful wildflowers. I'm just uh, walking across one of the slips here um, for the uh, boat and hope that I don't fall overboard as you can see how close I am to the water and so I just wanted to go a little bit deeper into the um the docks here and kind of give you a look of whoops okay and here we go from this perspective oh okay this dock is floating so it's like moving it's like making me a little bit dizzy this is ah if I fall in it's not good 
So anyway, yeah, it'd be a heck of a video. Maybe that's one way to go viral, <laughs> but let's not do that today. It's really cold. So here we go. I just want to give you guys a really good look from the dock from one of the slips, like I said. And I'm going to go ahead and walk over here before I slip off the floating piece of it. Because that's where I am. And here we go. And so, okay, give me another minute and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm just going to walk through the dock real quick. And um, so you can see what um, what's going on here, what's drawing all the crowd and all the fun. So... Okay, um, I got through there uh, as you can see uh, people are just shopping for fish and uh, they're most likely people that own restaurants and uh, things like that so yeah and here is a pillar point harbor patrol boat again from this perspective and i'm gonna go ahead and there we go and this is very interesting this is called a let me see wing project and it is some kind of a power by nature something so very interesting so yeah alrighty then okay i'm just gonna go ahead and give you a look from this perspective and here is a sheriff's chase boat and so yeah there you go and i'll be back Okay, guys, we found this shop at Harbor Village. I'm just going to walk through here and see what this is because this is like the other side of the docks. I mean, it's just like really weird to set up. So, yeah, it looks like there's some really um, nice shops that are normally around, but I think it's like closed right now. But it looks like they have craft beer tap room. That doesn't do me any good. <laughs> Candy, kites, and taffy. Saltwater taffy and kites, okay. Lamas, Peruvian and Mexican cuisine. Oh, I like Peruvian food. Okay, hold on. Let's see what's in here. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, it looks like that's the brewing company. 
Hop Dogma. Interesting. And it looks like this is the Half Moon Bay Saltwater Taffy Company. I think this is where they sell the kites. Must be a thing here. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a little candy shop. Very cute. There's a very strong smell of onions in here, guys. I'm going to tell you right now. It's like really strong smell of onions. And so it looks like some of the shops are actually closed. This looks like Shelly Pack Dancers. It's a dancing class. And of course, that will be closed because, you know, COVID-19. And there's their official entry. But this is a very, very cute, um, actually a mall. I mean, look at the top, it's, it's all solar. So there's really not lights in here, but this is all pretty much done by the sun. It's really, really pretty. So yeah, I'm enjoying this. Hop Dogmas Brewing. So they have like more than one area. So they must own this whole piece here. Interesting art there. <laughs> and so, yeah. Okay, well, it looks like there's a lot more going in there. And so, since there's some people around here, and I don't want to, you know, get them in a frame, so I'm going to try to skirt them. And if not, I'll just go ahead and get back to you guys, okay? Talk to you soon. Okay, my beautiful wildflowers, that's it for the day. And we are actually headed home now. And we are on Highway 280 and just zipping by. But I am going to go ahead and put a clip for tomorrow. And this is a two-day vlog, but the one tomorrow will be kind of short, so just stay tuned. Hello, my beautiful wildflowers. Alexis here with Oat Modesty. This is day two of my weekend day off. And this wasn't really planned, but we're going to go ahead and go to another beach, or at least try to. And this place we haven't been to yet, it's called Greyhound Rock. But we were looking at Google Maps and all of the beaches around. Now, we wanted to go to Dellen Beach up in Moran County, but the traffic and the accidents up there is taking over two hours to get there, and it's less than 30 miles. And so we're going to head south to a place called Greyhound Rock, and we asked Siri, actually, on the... Um, uh, on our iPhones and let us know which is a good beach and they, she pointed that one out so we will go ahead and um, start going and then um, uh, we'll pick up from there so I'll see you soon hello my beautiful wildflowers well we're here we are at this point it's a like a coastal access on state road one i think it is and today you're gonna have to excuse me because i had some noodles yesterday and i had msg in it and i'm allergic to msg and i am so swollen i can't even get my rings off that's how puffy i am and so i'm hoping to kind of like um walk around and get rid of this uh, all this fluid I have on board so yeah but it's really nice out here um, it's quiet and but it is very breezy I'm gonna go ahead and turn you guys around so you can see what I'm seeing and let's see here we go and this is like I said a coastal access road and I'm just waiting for my husband to um, uh, meet me over here so that way we can actually start walking but it's really really pretty and it's a place a really nice place to kind of like picnic and you know you can park your car and it has a nice parking lot it has restrooms and and all of these nice little things so yeah and I think I'm gonna go ahead and check out what that is um, looks like there is a sign of what Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh, start walking down from the um, the top side to the coastal um, entrance. So like I said, this is, this is welcome to Greyhound Rock. Please pack your trash, okay? And so here we go. And it has a little sign here. And it's actually pretty cool up here. Even though it seems to be really sunny, I'm a little bit chilly actually it's it's really cold um, which surprises me because it's really um, warm back home which is only like what 40 miles you know 40 miles away and so it's really surprising how cool it gets on the coast and so it's like 86 degrees I think at home maybe and here it feels like maybe 60s so I actually didn't dress for the weather I have to say so here we go and I've never been here so I really don't know what to expect um, there's definitely a great downgrade and I see a dog down there a big one I'm sure the owners near it there it is and so oh look at these wildflowers these are so very pretty huh and look 
more wildflowers. I think these are kind of like the succulents type, but there they are. Very hardy. Okay, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get a shot of this as I'm walking down. It's really pretty, whatever that thing is. It's like a rock formation. And so, yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, I had to let some, some people kind of walk by us so that way because they were talking so loud. And let's see, I don't know if you can see but there are there is a lone surfer out there um, trying to catch a, a ride in. But it looks really nice and that rock is just like really nice. I don't know if it connects to anything but um, yeah. And here is some more wildflowers around here and then we're going to continue on to below the rocks and so that way oh this is really pretty hold on here um i don't know if okay um hmm. let's see this is not a path or any kind but i figured oh this is really really pretty oh wow and you can see the coast from here and you can see the waves. Okay, my beautiful wildflowers, that's it for the vlog. And I just wanna go ahead and say thank you so much for spending your moments with me. And this is our ride home, so go ahead and enjoy and I will insert some music here so you can listen to some music. And just remember, have a good day, have a good night, have a good week, have a good weekend, whenever you're watching this. But regardless, remember, don't sweat the small stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.
Thank you.